if you've got to go down in the woods and you're going to have to go into the trees, where should you hit the trees if you had control of the airplane? You'd say, well, at the top of the trees because it would be flexing over. And that's great. It's a hell of a good thought. However, if you think about it, you've got trees that are about 50 feet high, and if you go into the top of them, it sure is going to slow you down on the impact, and it's going to fall to the ground. You're dead. If you go down, and you can do it, and you, it's not always possible, you find a, a clump of trees, and you see two of them, you can get the nose in between if you're a single-engine airplane and you get the nose in between, you're going to go to a sudden stop. But the wings are going to come off, and it's going to take that first impact, which would have killed you. And now you're still, you're still alive, and the airplane just drops on its gear, because just before you hit the trees, you want to make sure you've got the landing gear down and the flap, so you'll hit the trees as slow as possible even though you don't have an engine. Well, that's just one of many principles like that. And I've had more letters in my career of people saying, thank you for saving my life or my family or this or that. And, but I could go on for hours talking about the what ifs. And I have spent my entire adult years telling people how to avoid the what ifs.